What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and I am here with our Oceania Originals Full Breakdown BT21 Meta Plus decklists. Yeah, we have the decklists, we have the full breakdown because I know that you guys really love full breakdowns like with all of the leaders and colors and everything. Guys, assembling this and importing into Deck Planet has been very taxing, so please Hit this like and subscribe button, share the video, help us grow. And uh, before we begin, a huge shout out to the Coffee Club, to our patrons Miguel, Nave, Ryan, Frank, Scotty, Jacob, Bixen, Bryce, Fernando, Derek, Adnan, Jakub, and Golden Feather Kiryu. Guys, thank you for buying us coffee and for helping this machine keep going. We're bringing something very cool for our patrons, you will see later in the week. And uh, yeah, if you want to become a member of the Coffee Club, link to the Patreon is in the description below. If Patreon isn't your thing, we have channel membership with cool emojis. Link is just on the join button. Now, roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with a breakdown, or in this case, general info. This was an online event organized by Tuck Games, huge shout out to them. Best of one pre-side, only 45 players in total, so this was on the weaker side but still a very good turnout uh, I'm gonna talk a bit about a bit more about tournament turnouts depending on how Europe goes because um, yeah it, there, there might be a bit of an issue here that has nothing to do with the TOs or the tournament quality I think it's promos that are the biggest problem that Chempek is just you know, compared to the last one anyway let's not ramble Best of one preside, this was the first Oceania event, the first Oceania BT21 event, where all promo cards were legal. That was huge. And of course, we were casting it, and we're gonna cast the next one, it's gonna be amazing. And before I conclude this section, huge congrats to everyone who participated at the event, to judges, players, TOs, everyone. Like, huge congrats to everyone, it was an awesome event, and yeah. Let's dive into the breakdown. Let's go. All right, guys, here it is, the top 16. Wow. Just wow. Look at this. This looks so awesome. Let me start by saying immediately congratulations to everyone who made it to the top 16. I say congratulations way too many times during these breakdowns. So let's say it once and then maybe a couple of times more. First place. Anthony, congratulations, see immediately, congratulations Anthony, Anthony finally made it to the first place with his Soul Striker, he's always in the top, I mean at least for the last three events he was in the very top with Soul Striker, now finally winning, we're gonna have this deck profile on the lookout coming in the near future, Anthony, congratulations, man, guys, if you have missed the stream it's it's somewhere on the channel just go to the live section anthony actually out comboed a 130k power swing from gohan with soul striker and had like 10 cards in hand remaining that was that was the craziest thing that i have ever seen anyway congrats next it's gohan bt21 the first out of three gohans uh yeah not much to say definitely one of the best decks right now major props and uh, yeah gohan super scary super scary guys third place was frieza swap frieza swap what i told you what i told you that this is the best yellow deck and if you still don't believe me go check out the live stream like max who played frieza had what did he max have he had like one third of his deck in his hand the entire time so the, this deck draws so much it has so many ways of disabling your opponent phenomenal deck then fourth place bt10 zamasu this is the only deck list that we don't have bt10 zamasu congratulations peter um i would i i would never expect this to happen i completely forgot what is what this deck does completely forgot that it even exists but we have it on the live stream very first game so go check it out then fifth place Majin Vegeta I just wrote it as SD22 because that's how I keep track of them in my database 
Congratulations, uh, Majin Vegeta still proving strong. I believe that we will be seeing more of this deck, even with Frieza Swap existing. Then sixth place, Pen Reboot. Pen Reboot carrying red in this top 16. Currently the best red deck. Currently the best red deck in the game. Then we have seventh place, Gohan. Eighth place, Mrs. Hay with Gohan. Congratulations. Uh, ninth place, another Majin Vegeta. Then tenth place, Expert Android Twenty One, the the one that should be banned, the one that okay it shouldn't be banned, but the interaction doesn't matter how complicated and how skilled you have to be to pull off that interaction, it shouldn't exist. It shouldn't exist. So it's. It shouldn't exist, I'm sorry. It's not the best deck, but the interaction itself is pretty bonkers. Anyway, uh, congratulations. Then we have 11th place, Android 21 BT20. Only a single one of these. This is probably one of the most overhyped decks of all time. Like, this deck was so hyped, it never did anything, even now, in except in the US. And even now, it's just failing... To do something. Not saying that the pilot is bad. Congratulations for getting uh, 11th place. It's just the deck itself is the leader and the archetype is just not as hyped, not as good as it was hyped to be. 12th place, Blue Baby! Blue Baby! What did I tell you? Tier 1 Blue Baby. We're probably gonna see more of it in the upcoming tournaments. So far, Blue Baby in the top 16, congratulations, an extremely good aggro deck. We have this game. We have this game on stream as well. Then, 13th place, Yellow Future Gohan. Yellow Future Gohan. I, I don't know what to say here, guys. Like, honestly, I completely forgot that this leader exists. I don't blame anyone else for forgetting that this leader exists. But... Yeah, apparently here it is. Yellow Future Gohan. Major congrats. Then 14th place, Trunks Reboot. Trunks Reboot is currently the best blue good stuff deck. Because Oob is stupid good. Both Oobs are good, but the 8 to drop Oob is just genuinely insane. Then 15th place, Pen Reboot. Another Pen. And finally, somehow, 16th place, ultimate cell no the reason why i say somehow is because every single deck i believe every single one of them in the toxic top 16 packs multiple copies of dabura and for cell this is this is not where you want to be if you're a cell player but still one cell managed to get to top 16 major congratulations now let's check out all of the leaders now let's take a look at all of the leaders so Full breakdown of 45 decks. Six Gohans. Green with six Gohans. Okay. And three cells. So yeah, green had quite a representation finally. Uh, six Gohans. Uh, it is expected. Because Gohan is just insane. And everyone's trying it out. Then uh, we have five Majin Vegeta's. Uh, Majin Vegeta, well, Majin Vegeta did also well in the top 16, but only 5 of them, that, that's interesting. Uh, 4 Pans, and Pan also did well in the top 16. So yeah, Pan is showing to be currently, in the very early BT20 meta, Pan is showing to be the best red deck at the moment. In, in the very early meta, while players are still experimenting, Pen is, you know, pulling the weight here when it comes to red, carrying the color. Then three copies of uh, Cell Reboot. One of them made it to the top 16. I believe that this is a bad time to play Cell Reboot. A bad time to play Hand Destruction in general. Because, uh, because Dabura is now everywhere. Mostly, mostly because of Gohan. More because of Gohan than anything else. Because that boss monster... Forces a discard and then you play double and then you get some cards back. Uh, we also have two copies of Skillless Gohan. Skillless Gohan continuing to appear at events. 
even one of them was in the top cut, so Skillless Gohan still pulling the weight, that's awesome to see. Two copies of Baby, one of which made it to the top 16, well, like I said, the best blue deck, among the best blue decks, definitely tier 1. Uh, two copies of Gohan Superhero, it's cool to see it, I hope to see it more, even this weekend in Europe, because this one has a lot of potential now. And I think that it's pretty cool and I really hope to see more of it. Uh, two copies of Cumber. Uh, Black is not in a good state at the moment. Black is about as good as Green was. And Green just got better, but Black didn't. So Cumber... I, think, I still think that Cumber has a lot of potential. It's just that... I don't believe that players are experimenting with black enough, but we will likely see more black decks as black is one of those colors which can actually answer Gohan's boss monster. And that should merit enough... I mean, my English, you know? Uh, that, that should be good enough uh, for black to see some testing in the competitive setting. Because it has petrification, it can stop the boss monster. That's that's enough to warrant testing. And I think that we will see a bit more black. So, one deck only. SS3 Reboot, Soul Striker, which won the event. Future Gohan, which made it into the top 16. Gogeta BR, the green one. Uh, I have high hopes for this one. I have such high hopes for this one. Uh, currently, Gohan completely outshines it. I think that we are looking at a similar situation with like uh, Sin and Gogeta, where like one deck in a color is just so astronomically better than anything else, but that deck is also carrying the color itself. So, <laughs> yeah, I hope to see more Gogeta. I think Gogeta is pretty good. Yamcha, huge shout out to the Mad Light who brought Yamcha. Supreme Kai of Time. Green Android 16, that's cool, there was at least one of these. Expert Android 21, which also made it into the top 16. Uh, green Majin Vegeta, that's cool, we haven't seen this deck forever. Knockout Strike Gogeta, huge shout out to the person who brought Knockout Strike Gogeta. Uh, Trunks Jita, Frieza Swap, Maxis Frieza Swap, only one copy made it to the top, si top 16, almost won the tournament. Like, that, they, this deck, I've been telling you guys. I've been telling you. So, next we have Mr. M, who usually plays Mr. Hatch, with Hirudegarn from BT, BT4, the original Hirudegarn. He sent me a message, he sent me an image of the deck, uh, the deck, the leader, during the stream and my eyes almost popped out when I saw this man. I was, I thought I was too tired because it was early morning, <laughs> but no. Hero the guy. Uh, Trunks Reboot, SS4 Goku Zeno, BT10 Zamasu, BT10 Zamasu, which won fourth place, guys. Android 21 BT20, Cooler Meal, and finally one Bardock BT18. Now let's take a look at the color breakdown. Now we have the color diversity chart, and what we can see here is... Well, first off, I need to explain what we're looking at. We're looking at the total number of decks in each color. So, six Gohans... Oh my god, I used to say six Gogetas or Sins. How times have changed? Six Gohans equals six green decks. Now, looking at the chart, we can see that blue came in the highest representation. 14 blue decks and then 12 green decks. Uh, well, the reason, the, the logic that we can put behind this is blue has a higher amount of diversity when it comes to leaders. Blue has more different leaders than green, have, than green has, more viable options. Green has only Gohan, and Gohan is really hard carrying the color, which is the reason why you see 12 green decks uh, like more than four usually, but six out of those 12 are Gohan and then three are Cell. So uh, Ultimate Cell, not the newest one. Uh, we don't see, uh, I think we're not gonna see a much higher number 
on other events. I think it's gonna hover around 12 or 14. It's not gonna reach Gogeta and C numbers, basically because the reason is you only have one deck that's so dominant. When you looked at red in the previous metagame, it was Gogeta and Sin. So combined, they brought red to insane numbers. Like all blue decks combined have brought more diversity when it comes to blue as opposed to green. Like none more, more diversity, more decks of the color. So if Cell was as good as Gohan, we might have seen like 20 of them, for example. But 12, a phenomenal number. Only 9 yellow decks. I still need to see NA results. And we have Europe this weekend. And then we will combine everything and look. And look and see. Has the Doom saying prediction that yellow is going to be everywhere. It's the strongest color in the game. It's going to replace red. We're going to see is that true or not. So only 9 yellow decks. But still yellow did quite well in the top cut. Yellow did well in the top 16. Then six red decks. How the mighty have fallen. Only six red decks. But out of them, uh, two pen decks made it to the top 16. So that's pretty good. And then finally, black is just tragic at four. So green got out of the trash can, but black kind of remained there. I don't believe that this is going to be an actual case. I think the upcoming European regionals are gonna show a different picture because like I've said black is one of those colors which has a way to fight Gohan so we will see we will see but so far that's the color diversity let's jump into the decks themselves here are the top 16 deck lists okay guys here we are with top 16 deck lists starting with Anthony's soul striker so yeah, this is the Soul Striker that made it to the to, to the first place, guys. Oh my god, top 16. Anyway, so first off, Gohan. Beast Gohan, you, you want this as your secret rare. Two copies of Baby. Now I'm filming this deck profile as soon as this video is done. So I'm gonna have questions. And unfortunately, right now I can't give you the answers to the questions that you have. So I'm just gonna be shocked, same as you are. Uh, free copies of Oob. This Oob is phenomenal. If you're playing blue and you don't have this Oob, go get it. It's dirt cheap. It is phenomenal. It's one of the best blue cards that we've had in a long while. I think it got overshadowed by how bad the archetype itself is. But Oob, amazing card. Even the 6th drop is pretty good. Uh, what also stands out, my uh, Pill of Shu and my the Cunning Trio, so upgraded Pill of, uh, upgraded uh, Pill of Group Leader. Much like Peter Dance, I'm not fully sold on this one, but Anthony's gonna explain to me how and why. Four copies of it in the main deck. And then the rest is uh, pretty standard, however there is a Mirror Creator Absorbed. And as you can see, there is a lot of defensive pieces here. Just a lot of defensive pieces. Even pseudo super combos. Yeah, this deck this deck was crazy. And um, then we have... I'm just gonna go quickly over them. The Z deck, the side deck, Mafubas. Gonna just say this very briefly. There is a lot of um, bad opinions, I would say, on uh, Gohan needing the ultimate tag. Gohan Goku boss monster, Gohan, Gohan Goku being unstoppable, uh, super overtuned, busted, as strong as Sin and Gogeta. It's one of the craziest things that I have read on the internet. Uh, that's because players don't know how to play against it and how to prepare. But you will see in this deck list that every, almost every single top 16 player came packing uh, a answer to the Gohan Goku. And this is one of those in blue. So, uh, yeah, it's not broken, just learn to play against it and pack your negates. That's it, basically. Like, it's nowhere near as busted as the Gogeta one was. Four copies of Dabura. This is also something that you're gonna see everywhere. This one is also because of Gohan, so... Yes, do this, please. 
And then we have some other answers here, like uh, Mexicabura can stop the boss monster in some other place. And we have an unexpected turn here, and that's about it. Let's go into the next one before the Danish sun behind me decides to devour me. Um, anyway, then we have second place, Danny's Gohan. Congratulations, Danny. So this is the first Gohan list that we're looking at. This one um, has more of hand destruction. As you can see, we have, uh, of course, more copies of everything in the archetype. Like all the, all the super rares. This is going to be one of the most expensive decks of all time to play, just because these are so expensive, especially this one. Uh, then we have Hand Destruction here with Kaioken. Zamasu, Zamasu just switches for, uh, with Kaioken, they just trade places. Uh, we have Cooler. If you don't have Cooler, go get it. This one's going to be also stupid expensive. Uh, some more critical. So this one is more critical damage Hand Destruction based. And uh, yeah, the secret rare is the secret rare, of course. And that's it, uh, Z deck, side deck. Um, as you can see, three copies of Dabura again. Uh, green doesn't have an answer to this one. Green's answer is playing Gohan and then just beating the crap out of you. Um, there are ways uh, in some other deck lists, you will see them. There are ways to deal with this guy, also in green. Then uh, we have third place Max Kennedy. Max, congratulations. I was so hoping that you were that you were gonna win. Max lost only to Anthony on time. That was for us casters who follow time while casting. That was so devastating to see. But Max representing Frieza Swap, the best yellow deck in the format. Guys, first off, go grab these ones if you don't have them. They're probably stupid expensive. Uh, what really carries Frieza Swap here is, in my opinion, it is this guy. Because this guy is like Trunks free drop, except it's even more broken. Uh, so three copies of this one and two copies of this. Theoretically, you can go for four if you want to. Just this one is the better one of the non-promo ones. Um, then the rest, two copies of Sin. And so far, that's it. There's unfortunately there's not much to say about uh, what's spicy, what's different, because we don't really have these deck lists at the moment. Then uh, Z deck, we have the Z deck here running one Tagoma. Don't usually see this on Deck Planet, so that is interesting. And then side deck, oh my god, I'm running into Gohan. What am I gonna do? You play Motaito. Answer number two, you play Motaito if you're playing yellow. Uh, running Gohans here in case of hand destruction just instead of Dabura. If you're running yellow and uh, you are not running Golden Frieza, so you don't have all the energy in the world, you're running Frieza Swap, you can play this one. He's basically the same as Dabura, except you draw one and he's played for free. And then the rest is the rest. Uh, let's just continue with fifth place Majin Vegeta. Like I said, I'm missing Zamasu. Um, fifth place Majin Vegeta. This is a pretty standard build. Nothing here really out of the ordinary, except we have a new card here. Um, rivalry, basically. Goku and Vegeta. So the way that you play this one, and this one is phenomenal in this deck. First off, first off, it's 20k, either double or dual. Okay. 20k, either double or dual. It, the start of your opponent's turn, it switches to active mode, and it's another one cost card in this deck. Another 20k one cost card. So what you do with this one is, you play your servant, because your servant is in rest mode, basically, after attacking, and you can't normally restand it unless you have this Goku, or you use Zarbon. Basically, what you do is, you play this card, and it says you need to target a Vegeta to play it, and Vegeta or Goku, and that card won't restand. You just target your servant because he doesn't restand anyway. And it only says that he can't restand at, the, at your next charge phase. So next turn, if you play this card, which basically restands the Vegeta when he attacks, 
you just got a whole bunch of value here because then you can switch him to active mode it's a phenomenal phenomenal combo and then we have motaito again to fight gohan the card that's missing the ultimate tag apparently uh we also have this one this one is also pretty cool and uh that's it you know we have like released from evil as well um also to fight some cards and uh, then sixth place by now i think we should make a how to counter gohan after european regionals because i don't want to mess up everything for the players anyway sixth place ellen's a pan and this was benny's uh Vegeta. so congratulations to both of you the first pan deck so uh pan is exceptionally strong in this format and it's pretty well i don't want to say dirty cheap you know it's running brawlies and it's running these gohans depending on your region it can be a bit expensive but this deck is phenomenal it draws like crazy it has so many tools it has so much aggression it is one of the craziest boss monsters in the game plus his online turn four the game is slow enough for you to be able to pull this one off and now going here so gohan answers for gohan the card that's missing the ultimate tag so i'm being sarcastic of course violent rays is your only option in red or you can you can do some things like in red you can only do violent rays because red never got a card that functions like mutaito and mafuba you run your daburas and you run this guy and now you might be asking why do you run this guy when your opponent plays a secret rare because you negate the attack he restands but if you've negated the leader's attack he can't attack again so basically you just take a lot of power away from his secret rare he can swing again with his leader next what do we have here seventh place Ethan's gohan so another gohan list um this one also leaning into hand destruction and leaning into critical attacks with four copies of frieza and running parasitic ball tech with two frieza dark infestations also running cells kamehameha and yes i'm clicking around it on purpose the big thing here is the monkey so Ethan, uh, if you're watching this i would love to know why you're running the monkey i assume that's because you don't have the other ser so which is completely fair but then i'm wondering why specifically the monkey like please if you're watching this let us know in the comments and then the rest is yeah here is green's answer to gohan the uh boss monster that's apparently missing the ultimate tag bigamore pay to can't attack it's super expensive it's super expensive but pay to can't attack uh, also running this one this is interesting it's also one of the answers when he's in rest mode when the opponent attacks you choose they may choose two cards in their hand and discard them if they don't you negate the attack and your opponent can't attack for the turn so this is basically a floodgate it's just gonna prevent your opponent from attacking all right so this is crazy um now congratulations Ethan. i completely forgot about that hit now let's go to danny hayes mrs hayes uh eighth place gohan uh huge congratulations and thanks chris for sending me the list uh so over here we have also a slightly different build this one is running cell max cell max is also pretty viable as an ser option in this archetype and this one is also leaning more into critical and hand destruction but in a bit of a different way two monkeys so she was running two monkeys and she was running fated rivals with piccolo uh, for more added hand destruction and then also sells kamehameha vegeta which is also basically hand destruction so there is an interesting hand destruction package going on here so i want you to keep in mind of this eighth place seventh place and second place are almost completely different builds three different viable ways to play gohan and uh in the side we have uh, to fight gohan we have uh, dabura 
and that's about it but uh, that doesn't matter because you fight Gohan with Gohan uh, the sideboard is pretty standard from what I can see congratulations then we go to ninth place Blake's Majin Vegeta uh, this one is running another new tech card which is this Goku and Frieza the five drop which you can play because you choose you pay to choose one of your yellow Saiyans or Frieza cards play this card from the Z energy and add the card to the Z energy so what you can do basically is you can replace because it asks for Saiyans so you can send like I don't know your servant to the Z energy my knowledge on this card is a bit weaker than it is on the other one because I have some experience trying out this other one not so much this one but it is a cool option it works with a lot of things in the deck and then Motaito to fight Gohan uh, and then the rest is well it's pretty standard here and of course if you're running yellow you're running these guys instead of uh, doubles because they're free and then 10th place marks expert android 21 it's a pretty standard list it's the deck that we have seen so far it has these uh restraint support i don't see these in every single android expert android 21 deck so that's cool to see um it's running a new copy uh it's running this one dr jaro and uh, when it comes to this part oh look mafuba way to stop the boss monster and then there are some interesting options this one you don't usually see this boo anymore and there is like the free drop mr pupil gohan it's a cool build it's a very cool build and actually running three copies of the smoke dragon okay okay then uh, Richard's Android 21, the only 21 that made it into the top cut. Uh, this one has some cool things. Uh, Mechanical Prowess Android 17. Uh, one copy of this Gamma card, which you don't see usually. So these two are pretty interesting. They're, they're definitely an interesting options. How long has this section been going on? 15 minutes. Oh my god. Okay. So... Um, running Daburas here uh, not running Mafubas but running Ultimate Judgment Jackos when you combo choose one card in opponent's hand and return it to their hand it's basically combo disruption congratulations then we have Jenna's Blue Baby Blue Baby okay awesome going through it so um, Hechiek and we actually saw this Hechiek play but more interestingly uh, she was running three copies of this Goten you don't counterplay with him you put him under this uh, universe the Tuffle field card because most of these engine guys are 5k's and this one is 10k so when you get to cheat him out he's still 20k beater that's pretty cool and uh, yeah running oobs here running one copy of these trunks this is very interesting uh, Daboras like we have seen and yeah that's it for the deck congratulations Jenna Ben's future Gohan I'm not gonna comment on this deck because I don't know what it does I honestly have no idea guys but for those of you who know what it does here is the deck list and um, let's go check out okay first off what the hell Ben like really what what's happening here choose all battle cards are being played with free and switch into rest mode and draw one card what okay uh and no side deck or yeah no side deck apparently so yeah this is uh ben's list congratulations ben what the hell <laughs> anyway so uh 14th place trunks reboot nicholas says trunks reboot the good stuff one you can see three copies of whoop here four copies of the other oob so if you're running trunks you're usually running both copies of the oob if you're running other blue decks you're usually running only eight drop and uh here is the kaioken is the ser group leader pilaf i imagine this would be replaced with the newest promo card and then the rest is well mafuba 
and then the rest is uh, pretty standard from what I'm seeing. Then 15 place George's Pan, a uh, very standard list. It's running two copies of the Shlonku Boss Monster, that's cool to see, and two copies of Unending Awakening. Uh, Zedek, pretty standard, except running one with L, and over here, Transcendent Strike. So for some reason, somehow. That's, that's an interesting choice. That's definitely an interesting choice, mate. And finally, we have Cell. Okay, so we have Andrew's Cell. It is... Two, 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 two. Yeah, this is the SCR. So it is the classic combo one. You're running this, you destroy your opponent's hand, you pray that they, they don't have Dabras to mess up your plans, and then you basically... You basically go for the win um, and this is like you can see bigger more to fight Gohan because green doesn't really have other options green green needs an option to fight things like that green needs an option like bigger more has been here for way too long anyway that's it guys those are the deck lists. congratulations to everyone yeah this ends the video that's it for the video let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on the BT21 Oceania meta. This this breakdown is quite diverse, though yeah, there were only 41 players, but still, it looks so much healthier than what we had in the past. And I'm super excited to see some of these older decks, like Future Gohan, BT10 Zamasu, like that, that's pretty cool, you know. Plus, we have a very solid representation of BT21 decks in Gohan, in Frieza and Baby. So that's pretty cool, not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Anyways guys, this was the breakdown and the deck lists. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read all of your comments, I try to respond to everything, I love our little community. And guys, we're really trying to speed it to 3000 subs. So please share the video, hit those like and subscribe buttons, help us grow and stay tuned for more content. This has been Damien from The Lookout. And I'll see all of you in the next video.